how much you've had to wait for it at first start for England? Yeah, it felt great to be fair. Um, I said in there, it almost felt like a second debut. Like, I know it doesn't really work, but it's been that long and it's been that. It feels a lifetime ago since that Montenegro game. So uh, it almost felt like a second debut. It felt brilliant. It felt good out there. It's so refreshing to be out there with the lads and, and in a strong team in a big game. So um, I really enjoyed it. You always play with a smile on your face, but it looked broader than ever out there at well. I love football. I, I always say it. I, I batter at home that I'm a football man and I love the game. And I've worked hard. I've waited a long time for that opportunity. You know, it feels like a it feels like I'm waiting so long for, for to to get to the point where the manager looks at me and wants to start me. You know, so um, really happy to be in that position for him to put that trust into me and hopefully I repaid him with my performance. Yeah. I know how hard the World Cup was for you, but a lot of people around that time have spoke very highly of you, players and staff, about how your mood was incredibly high, you were incredibly positive, despite the injury, despite the fact you didn't get any game time. Do you think that stood you in good stead to come back into the England camp and, 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 and you know, take off on, on the right foot? Yeah, definitely, and that was the attitude I had to have, I felt. So there was a lot of lows and there was a lot of sad, sad faces when I was in my room by myself, just thinking, why, why now, this little injury, why? Why in the West Ham game did I get that just before the World Cup after I'd worked so hard to get to the position where everyone was all felt like everyone was clamouring for me to be in the squad and I'd uh, worked so hard and my performances were, were really good and so there was tough times in the room in Qatar. Um FaceTime in home, just sad, but it was almost like a a battle with myself to say like, well, don't take this for granted. I might not be play, I might not be able to shake this injury off, but it will leave me in good stead if I show Gareth and show the the people who have questioned my personality or off the fields or whatever that is that that's all rubbish and, and that can be a good good person and we have such a good group and I get on so well with the lads and the staff and it's what you see from the outside is exactly how it is the, the togetherness and the, and the fun nature of, of, the, of the energy around the camp and so I hope stuff like that would leave me in good stead and, I, and it probably has. Yeah. You're your own harshest critic at the, at, the, at the best of times, it strikes me. I've spoken to you a lot about it in the past. And what did you make of your own performance tonight? Because you got a lot of the ball and you, you look like you really grew in, into the game and grew in confidence, got more of the ball and things were starting to happen. Well, yeah, I know my strength and, and my skill set and what I can bring um, to people might look at the lineup and see that Madison's on the left wing, how's that going to work? But, it's actually a really nice position to be, to be honest, for a player like me, especially when you have Ben, like ben Chilwell, who's left back, who's such a good runner and so, such a threat in behind that I can go and find the inside spaces. And Gareth said to me, play with freedom, you have the licence to go and find them pockets and how, how you do for Leicester. And it just gave me that, yeah, that, that freedom that I didn't feel restricted. I felt, I felt good, me and Jude interchanged well in that, on that left side. And Yeah, I'll, I'll watch the game back and I'll probably nitpick and there's probably a few things I could, probably should have scored, to be honest. But... Um, Listen, I'll try and take that hat off for a second and, and, and enjoy the moment. Yeah. The, the one you think you should have scored, was that where you, maybe if you had a blue shirt on instead of a white shirt, you might have pulled the trigger? That's the only one I can think of. I should on, have the, shot. on the left corner of the box yeah, yeah. when you tried to slip it through to Bakayo. Yeah, yeah, because I did, I did well to, to like navigate the chance because it, like, it was almost like a second ball, but I, I checked my shoulder and saw Zinchenko come in, kind of rolled him and got into my territory where... Maybe on a on a fifth, tenth, fifteenth start, I might have pulled the trigger, but um, who knows? I was just trying to get Mackay, and he made a good run, to be fair. But he ignored my run in the first half and stuck one in the top corner, so I probably should have done the same. <laughs> Listen, last one. Where do you go from here? Because it feels like you've gone through a long road, a tough road, a tough emotional and a physical road to get to where you are now. Mm. Impressing the England manager, getting your first start. This has to be the start of something internationally for you, doesn't it? Yeah, Leicester head back on now though. It's too much of an important run. Um, in, not in the most ideal situation in terms of the table, so Leicester head back on now. But internationally, just to, yeah, just to prove to, to Gareth that I'm, I can do it on the pitch, I'm good around the camp, and I, I think I've done that, and, and we get on really well. So Leicester head back on, and then some good international games to look forward to in the, in the summer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry.